Are you like me? You like KZ headphones, but you hate the KZ cable? Well, on this super review, we're gonna take a look at the KZ Aptex Bluetooth cable. Okay, so there's one interesting side effect of using headphones with replaceable cables, and it's that you can replace the cable with a knot cable. What we have here is the KZ Aptex Bluetooth cable. And what this does is it re essentially replaces the stock cable that comes with your headphones and it just gives you like an around the back of the neck short little Bluetooth wire that will allow you to connect to your phone and listen to music wirelessly, or at least, you know, as wirelessly as you get with a Bluetooth wire. All right, so I'm interested to check it out. I'm interested, you know, how does it function compared to like a standalone Bluetooth headset? Let's say like the anchors of the Dudios. And then more importantly, how much of the sound quality of the KZs translates to Bluetooth. That's what we're gonna find out. Let's go ahead and open it up and we'll give it a listening test. All right, we got the KZ Aptex Bluetooth adapter cable upgrade wire, which is, yes, that is a mouthful. As far as I can tell, this is a newer model. There is an older model that's available and this is a newer model. It supports Aptex and it's got the word plus next to it. So you know that, well, Okay, that doesn't tell you anything. I do have with me a set of KZ AS10s. And these are, of all the different KZ headphones I've listened to, these are so far my favorites. Now, they don't actually have to be KZ headphones, they just have to be headphones that use the correct two-pin adapter, the two-pin connector. I believe that the TRN headphones that I've tried before, the TRN V80s, they use the same exact connector, and this will probably be compatible with those as well. That said, let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we got inside. All right, so what do you get in the box of the KZ Aptex something plus? Well, you get the cable itself and that's pretty much it. Okay, you also do get the world's cutest micro USB cable and that's because this thing will charge over micro USB. The port is right here on the side, um, very similar to what you would see on like the Dudios or the Anchor Bluetooth headsets. Uh, you get a couple of pieces of paperwork and that's it. Again, these are the AS10s, these do not come in the box. So don't get this cable expecting to have headphones. You gotta bring your headphones, B-Y-O-H. All right, looking around the cable, some things stand out right away. The first thing that stands out is that this pin, the connector right here is a memory wire that is moldable, right? So I can change the bend of it. I can customize it however I want, which unfortunately is probably my least favorite thing about the KZ headphones. I feel like this, this hook, I mean, there are a lot of headphone cables out there that have a pre-curved hook in them. And it's kind of annoying because this hook will just get caught on things. I feel like it's doubly annoying on the KZs because when it gets caught on things, it changes the shape and now it's deformed. And now every time I put these on my head, I have to reform this to wrap it around the back of my ear. So, uh, you know, I guess it's a more custom fit. Some people might like that. I'm just not one of them. Uh, another thing that stands out is the length of the cable. This is pretty comparable to what you would get with something like the Dudios or the Anchor Sound Buds. Yeah, pretty comparable length. Uh, the one thing that is actually really different is, okay, this is not different. There is a controller on the cable on, let's see, is it the left side or the right side? That's the left side. Um, so there is a controller on the left side. It's got volume up and down. Clickiness seems fine. This seems like it's, you know, it's got kind of like a, yeah, it's actually a nice click action to it. It's got a volume down, volume up, and a play pause button. I assume this is kind of a multifunction button. The one thing that is different is that on the other side of the cable, there is an equivalent little pod. And I'm not sure if this pod has like battery in it or if it's just there to balance it out. But I actually, I think this is nice because one of the issues I've had with some of those Bluetooth earbuds is that 
you know, they've only got the kit, they've got the controller on one side and the battery's baked in there as well. On the other side, you've got nothing. And that just means that this side of the cable is a little bit heavier than this side. And as you're wearing them, the one side will start to droop down like that. And it's not a big deal. Um, you get used to it pretty quickly, but I think this is actually pretty nice that they have the, the opposite side balanced out like that because I think it's gonna avoid that problem. All right, so this is the KZ Bluetooth cable, but I've also got a version of this cable by TRN. Now TRN, they just, they're another company that's making budget in-ear monitors like KZ, and they've got their own version of this cable. I've had this one for a little bit longer and I'm interested to compare it to the KZ cable. The one thing that's interesting that's the same between them is that they both support Aptex. Things that are different between them are fairly obvious if you look at it, maybe, but maybe you can't actually tell here on the camera. All right, so the biggest difference here is that the TRN cable has got a neck band. All right, so this, this part right here just rests like along your neck, and then the cables, they come up basically from your neck. And that has, I think, you know, the side effect of you don't have anything rubbing up against the, like you don't have a, a loose cable running along the back of your neck. Um, and it also, you know, it solves the same problem that I talked about these two pods solving in that the weight is balanced so you don't have anything like sliding off to one side. Uh, and then one advantage I'll go ahead and give to the TRNs right now is that the TRNs have pre-curved hooks which just return to their original position. And I generally prefer that. All right, so that is about as much as I can tell you about these cables without giving them a, a listening test. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to my Pixel phone. I'm going to listen to some reference music and I'm going to compare it to the TRN cable. All right, so I just gave the KZ Aptex Bluetooth cable a little wearing test, a little functionality test, and a little listening test. Walked around the house a little bit, tested the range, and I gotta be honest, this thing, it's not great. I'll start off with the strength of the KZ Aptex cable, and that is actually sound quality. These things sound pretty good. I think these sound as good as you could expect Bluetooth cable adapter thing like this to sound. There's maybe a slight downgrade in the audio quality versus listening to this over a cable, but really like the strengths of the AS10s that I like are really coming through with this cable. And that's pretty cool because you know, the TRN cable, I think I mentioned, I've, I've had that for a while now, and I haven't been using it a ton just because the sound quality is, it's a little, it's a little meh. There's a noticeable degra degradation of quality when you use the TRN cable. With the KZ cable, it's not so apparent. I think the sound quality of this is significantly better than that of the TRN cable. Unfortunately, that is all that I like better about the KZ cable. Pretty much everything else, I think the, K the TRN cable does better. All right, let's start with fit and wear. Okay, if you like, if you want to have the world's most awkward pair of earrings, well, I think the KZ cable does it. You can kind of see here, I'm, I'm, I'm modeling this cable for you. I think it looks goofy. Uh, maybe that doesn't matter for you. For me, uh, okay, maybe I don't actually care that much about how I look, but the way that this thing fits with these little pods dangling like in between my ears and my shoulders, it's, it's just a mess of wires. And like, I think the pods on this Bluetooth cable or on the KZ cable are actually quite a bit larger than they are on some of those standard, you know, Anchor and, and Dudios earbuds. Uh, so that's one issue. That's an issue that you've got two of them dangling. And I feel like also just their position on the cable is really inconvenient. I don't think they thought that out very well. I mentioned I don't really like the memory wire on the ends of the cable. It's just, again, it's more fussy than the preformed memory wire of the TRN cable. And then really the biggest issue with this thing is the connection quality, and it is not good. I'd read on Amazon reviews that it was not good, and I had some hope that maybe it was just, you know, those particular users had problems with it, but well, I've got the same problem. So right when I connect these to my phone, there's like a good five to maybe 10 seconds delay before audio will start coming out of the earbuds. In fact, if I hit the play button on this before it's fully connected, it'll activate play on my phone and the music will start coming out of my phone instead of the earbuds. Again, it takes like five or 10 seconds for it to connect 
And that feels really sloppy. I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> the other issue is just that the strength of the connection is not great. Even just with having the phone in my pocket, there was enough interference to cause occasional dropouts. Now, it wasn't unlistenable with the phone in my pocket. It would just occasionally drop out in a way that I don't really expect of a Bluetooth headset. The TRN cable doesn't have that problem. In fact, with the TRN cable, I was able to leave my phone in a different room of the house and you know, still able to have a pretty good connection. The KZ cable, it starts to get disrupted even once you're like, you know, six, 10 feet away from it. Oof, which is not a good look. Like, and when I say disrupted, I mean like you can't really listen to it if your phone is more than six feet away from you. The biggest bummer with all of that is that, like I started with, the sound quality on this is actually pretty good. Like, it would be really nice if this worked out well. Unfortunately, it didn't. If I were to rate the KZ Aptex Bluetooth cable, I'd have to give it two stars out of five. You know, I was actually tempted to give it one star out of five, but really going back and forth with the TRN cable, the sound quality improvement with the KZ, it stands out so much that, all right, KZ, you get two stars. If I were to rate the TRN cable separately, I'd probably give it like three stars out of five. I think the sound quality leaves something to be desired, but the functionality of it is generally pretty good. The biggest issue with the TRN, and it's also true of this, is that when there's no audio playing, like if you're not listening to music and the headphones are just kind of at idle, there is a noticeable hiss. But yeah, with the TRN headset, I'd still give it three stars out of five because I think the fit's great, the functionality is great, the connection quality is totally fine. It's just the audio quality is not the best. I think the TRN cable makes a lot of sense with like a cheaper KZ, maybe like the ES4. ES4 plus the TRN cable, that's not a bad little Bluetooth combination right there. If you're interested in checking out the KZ cable or even the TRN cable, I do have links in the description down below. While you're down there, you can hit the like button for the video, assuming you'll like the video. You can subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you in the next super review.